Hey fellow cyclists, Dr. Vince Marcel here with you. Got my phone hooked up to just show you some basic steps on your pedal stroke. When I'm talking to folks, they say they make circles or they don't know what I'm talking about or they lift. So I wanted to go ahead and break it down really simple. This is a basic tutorial on just understanding the fundamentals of your pedal stroke. Um, why do people pass us and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna hop on the bike and we're just gonna go through step by step talking about the different uh, muscle groups that we're using as well as the, what we should be looking for or feeling or hearing. Okay, here we go. So on my left side, I've got my chair hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead, bring this down. I wanna hook it, oops. Left foot up on the chair. Now, most of us have done this our whole lives. If we rode a beach cruiser with some flip-flops, we're going ahead and pushing. But what we do, we didn't have quicken. So what we do is we drop the toe to get the pedal around so that we can get ready to mash the pedal again. So we already know how to do this. What gear I'd like to have you set up in right now is about, about 18 or 19. It's got a little resistance for you, okay? And so we're pushing from one to five. You've been doing this basically your whole life or you just started riding. Um, whenever you've been able to do this, is you've just been sort of pushing, pushing. Now this is sort of like when we're at the gym, we go ahead, if we go to the gym and we're doing a set of curls, we're gonna do maybe a set of eight, 10 or 12, a certain amount of weight. And then we're gonna go ahead and then we drop it. We walk around, get a sip of water, and then we come back and we do another set. And so I want you to think about this as what we're doing is we're doing sets, we're doing intervals. So right now we're just learning and feeling. Everybody can do this all day long. So we're just pushing, we're not making complete circles. I'm not asking you to pedal just like this. What I want you to do is feel it. So we push. Now the next step is the second step is gonna be the scrape. A lot of times, what we talked about before, when I'm riding a beach cruiser, I dip my toe to get the pedal back. Well, now you have clippage. You don't have to dip your toe and lose power and over contract your calf. What we want to do is we want to get down through here, a little bit of calf and it's an hamstring. From five to seven, we want to go ahead and scrape the poo off the bottom of your shoe. You don't come over the grass and you go, ew, ew. No, you come over and go, shoot. And you scrape that doo-doo off your foot. And you can see my calf, you can see how the hamstring is working. So we're coming through there and we're scraping and lifting, scraping and lifting. There we go. So here we go, we're scraping it. Now from seven o'clock, now watch what happens. As I scrape, the opposite pedal is ready to get mashed. So I'm going ahead, I'm scraping. Now from seven to 11, is going to be my hip flexor. It's my psoas muscle. It's going to allow me to lift that knee over the bar as high as possible. Now, if you're watching my foot, I'm not going to go ahead. A lot of times, people, when I'm watching them, is all of a sudden they'll dip their toe down and they're really accentuating their calf muscle to go ahead and get their foot. They're ballerining this, is what they would call it, or toe flexion. So what we really want to go ahead and not do this. We really want to scrape the poo off the bottom of our shoe, really accentuating our hamstring and getting ready to scrape. Then lift, lift that knee up over that top bar. That's going to be your psoas muscle. The psoas goes ahead and attaches to the inside of your femur and attaches to the front of the five lumbar vertebrae. It is part of what some people would think your sit-up muscles or your abdominal muscles, but it's really your hip flexor. And what we want to do is we want to be looking at that as a scrape and the lift. The lift is going to be purely psoas. Now you've got that part. We're going to look at the second dead space, which is from 11 to 1. This is a kick motion. We're going from here and we're just kicking. Big muscle that we're using is we're using the glute medius. You're going to go ahead um, and as we come through this you get your glute medius, your glute minimus in here. It's right at the top of the quad. You'll feel that the top of the quad start to engage. You had a pocket in here, be this portion of the muscle. As you're going through you'll start to feel the top of the quad as well and then you'll feel the rest of the top of the quad on the mat. 
I think well, this is probably one of the key secrets in a pedal stroke of really accentuating this kick stroke to allow you to match that pedal to really come through kicking and allowing that acceleration to take place. So if you always are just pedaling and pushing, you know, he can see where you're having some of those dead spots. So now listen to this, guys. What I'm doing is I'm not going through the motion. If I lift my knee all the way up, I don't get that clanging sound, that dead space, because I haven't, I've gone ahead and lifted my knee over that top bar as high as possible, which allows me to kick. Now that's at the bottom of the stroke, right? So this, if you ever hear this type of noise, that tells you're not fluid in the dead spaces from five to seven and 11 to one. Alrighty, so when we're practicing, we're going to go ahead and we're warming up. This is where we're doing our interval training. So I'm in gear 18. If you just have a regular trainer, you got to use your gears as your resistance. So here I'm going to be pushing and scraping left and right. What I'm doing is warming up. So if you go out one of the first five miles with your friends, you should just be talking about how the day is just head making circles should be thinking methodically, where's my pedal stroke? Pushing and scraping, pushing and scraping, left and right, left and right. Hey Mary Jane, how you doing? How's the week? How's the kids? How's lockdown? And then what happens is now we got scrape and lift. Scrape and lift, scrape and lift, scrape and lift. And you're talking, you're carrying on. You just have a nice little pad, you're just warming everything up, you're warming the muscles up. Now you go ahead, you go ahead, and you're lifting and kicking. Lifting and kicking, lifting and kicking. Lifting and kicking. Nice and easy, you guys are going through. Now you're kicking and pushing, kicking and pushing, kicking and pushing, kicking and pushing. Kicking and pushing. And that is pedaling squares. So, if you guys have any questions, pros or cons, please let me know. Dr. Vince of infinity at gmail.com. Go ahead and address your concerns or some education that you might have for me to go ahead and share with other people. We're trying to go ahead as everybody, as the whole world is on lockdown and doing a lot of pedaling inside, trying to go ahead and share some information. So again, any questions, uh, let us know, Dr. Vince of infinity at gmail.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Cheers.